Hello guys, welcome to Merch Benz King. As you can see, this is a camouflaged EQS. And in this video, we will take it for a drive and I will show you every special feature, including the hyper screen. So right now it's calculating the road, also on the center screen. Yes. Yes. You don't have to be, stay there, um, but okay. you can basically leave that, but now you have calculated the road which is 1 meters and 41 centimeters wide. And I can already tell you, it is a very impressive, fully electric first Mercedes sedan. The Mercedes star will definitely come back in the design, might be also in the interior. When driving the EQS, you really feel connected to the car. It has different senses all combined together, including the smell, visual aspects and the sound. And from the side you can already see this is a very long vehicle. I think around 5 meters and 20 centimeters in length. And on the side it has this gap. And what do you guys think this is meant for? Let me know in the comment section below. So guys, before we take it for a drive, make sure you follow me on Instagram. The link is down below. And I have amazing content special for you about all new Mercedes-Benz vehicles. So guys, right now we are driving in the EQS and next to me I have Christoph, the head of EQ. Hi Christoph. Hey. Thanks for you? having me. Nice day in the car, on a sunny day in Stuttgart. So yeah, this is actually the brand new EQS. Um, what we have here is um, the car with the uh, 107.8 kilowatt hour battery and we have a 4x4 um, so an all wheel drive so that means two engines one in the front one in the rear so the overall power is 385 kilowatts um, and obviously I'm sure I've realized we've got our signature here our hyper screen which mm -hmm. we have presented to the world at the CES this year in, uh, in a digital form. So, so this is uh, 1 meter and 41 centimeters? Yes, it's 1 meter 41 centimeters. It has LCD here. It has two OLED screens there. No. Um, you've got 12.3 inch um, display here for the driver. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, everything, everything what you need is basically here, so I mean acceleration, recuperation, um, and of course the range. Um, we have also different screens, so the ones uh, who are more on a on a um, classic side, which you mm -hmm. are used to from the S class, yeah. then um, a reduced to the max version. Mm -hmm. oh. So OLED, as I mentioned, and. Uh, so it's MBUX technology at its best. We have added an additional ingredient in here, an artificial intelligence, and we call it zero layer. So the target here is of course that we want to basically keep the customer, the driver, on this screen. Yeah. So what do we have here? Um, we have here basically the navigation. As you can see, it's the map. Um, you can have it in different, different styles. And, uh, mm -hmm. You have the EQ menu um, where you can basically um, either uh, search for a charging station, uh, range, everything is, is basically here. And um, you can actually go to mute it. No. Uh, and our, our uh, magic modules, so you see two here. One is the uh, media module, mm -hmm. and the other is actually the telephone module. So these two modules are fixed. Um, so on the media module, you can basically go in there and then switch 
between different sources so you can have your radio on you can stream mm -hmm. you can have your bluetooth radio whatever you want to do it's here and then the telephone of course is the telephone yep. and uh, because we think these are the two main uh, use cases every customer uses yeah? um, and we want to have it on the first first level so um, you can basically the caller's favorite ski but you can you can do everything yep. um, and then we have four four modules um, so up to six modules here four additional which uh, are basically learning modules so the, the morning I'm coming in there will be a module with the name of him or her you can just press it and then the dial starts automatically you can also swipe it away if you say okay not today the same no. like if you have massage you have your favorite rest restaurants which you go uh, once a week or favorite charging station or whatever so the idea is behind that is the car is learning the behavior of your driver and makes suggestions yeah. with these suggestions you are basically able to just do almost everything here on the screen so I understand the purpose of the center screen it's also very large and wider actually than the portrait screen of the s Gloss. yes very useful and on the right to see another screen yes how does it work all together? So that's the passenger screen. So overall, once you are, I don't have a passenger in the car, then this is this screen is purely functioning as, uh, if you want to say, as a, as a digital screen. So we have here the Division AVTR. Um, you can also upload a picture up there. So there is no usage for this screen unless someone sits in the seat. So with the seat map below you, uh, the screen realizes that there is someone sitting and now you could uh, with, uh, with a push you can see it pops up exactly welcome so yeah. and now you can basically have a copy of this but of course you can uh, basically synchronize yourself so we can use up to seven uh, different profiles here and you can have your own profile there with your own um, telephone book you can do emails there um, and uh, how does that work uh, I have a camera here mm -hmm. so for this camera is making sure that the driver focuses on what's important for him or her means the street mm -hmm. I have a head-up display here from the S-Class by the way maximum here but this is passenger land so once I start to look over too often um, you will have a fade out yep. so that we, the driver really focuses on driving and we eliminate driver distraction so as this is for the passenger it must have some more accessibilities for example on the apps to play some games or yeah you can you could play games you could um, actually go into a Mercedes me store and uh, and buy some stuff you can you can in, in, the, in the final version um, you can watch a movie. I mean, not during no. driving in Germany. But, um, you can uh, have a lot of individualization on the on the uh, passenger side um, and really make use of, of that time. You could also, for example, find a good restaurant for us and then swipe it off. Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Drive to Munich. One. I will show you the way. So. so right now it's calculating the road also on the center screen. Yes. Yes. You don't have to be stay there. Um, but okay. you can basically leave that, but now you have calculated the road. And for, if you have a song then you can swipe down and share it with your yes. other passengers. S exactly. So you could just canceling out all the rest because we don't want to go to music but this is MBUX 44 so we've got um, also the possibilities as, a, as an option for the customer to have two reset entertainment units and you, what you can basically do you can share the content here here and on, on the other two screens yeah, yeah? so that's the possibility uh, uh, the others in the back can also have their individual program so there is a lot of individuality in this app plus you can colonize it and, and share it yeah you could also have uh, uh, let's say your own streaming music here 
while the driver is listening to something different. Okay. The same in the back. They can individually listen to um, um, whatever they want no. or watch a movie in the back. So it's all individualized. At the start, I saw this AVTR, the avatar, and that must be for a purpose. So how does it connect with the EQS? In some ways, I think it combines different senses. So the visual aspect, Absolutely. usability, the sound, and also the smell, I've smell, heard. Smell, yes. So what do we have here? Um, an interesting feature. We have an HEPA filter at the end of the vehicle. Um, so we used the, the space in the front for a um, uh, uh, excellent filter. So we have a filtration rate of 99.65%. Mm -hmm. So you basically you are sitting in a complete filtrated car. And if you don't want to have this kind of filtration, um, but you want to combine it a little bit with uh, with a smell, then you can use ionization or an air freshener with different styles, so you can get your own individual clean air here in the vehicle. And you can actually smell now a little bit the air freshener we have put in, even, I think, through our yeah, for the most, masks. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So we are continuously trying to underline our vision of future mobility with uh, with ABTR. Now besides uh, the battery technology and, and uh, the uh, sustainability factor, um, mm -hmm. for example, the ABTR has uh, wheels which are basically turning sidewards, so you can park like a crab. Car yeah. and like a crab. Um, yeah. Of course, we cannot do this with, with this vehicle, but we have a 100% uh, rear axle steering here in the car with 4.5 degrees, and you can uh, basically um, upgrade it over the air to 10 degrees. So you will be able to go around the, uh, with one turn, one turn at 10.9 meters, which is pretty impressive for this size of a car. I mean, you're yeah. talking about 5 meters and 21 centimeters. And you see the connection between. Oh. It's actually recuperating now, so you see the blue ones, the electrodes coming back, and then accelerating, and you see the energy going out, and you hear it through the through the sound. Then there is more, a little bit more uh, futuristic, sophisticated sound. We call it wheel flux. Again, all senses you see when you hear. Yeah. And then roaring pulse is a little bit more stronger. Yeah. yeah. It's actually pretty cool now. The Acceleration, okay. Besides the screens, I also see a lot of more practicality, maybe also down here, a lot more space. Yes, I mean, of course, we have taken the advantage of not having a tunnel for, for the gear and the, uh, uh, the uh, connection to the rear axle. So it's free space, you can put a bag up down here, you can actually uh, put your laptop or other computer device down there. You can you can also charge it. There are charging ports here. There are charging ports here at the top up to 100 watts. So we are yes, we completely definitely used the the, uh, the space the, uh, electric dedicated electric architecture gave us for customer usage. And then here we've got our cup holders and the uh, cell phone charger. So everything pretty customer user friendly. No. So Christoph, thanks for your time showing me the EQS. You're welcome. And guys, I hope you like this video with the all new EQS. More will follow soon. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye.